As well as the sunlight, nature gives us another gift. Our reporter Liz Turner is in Bowling Green, Ohio, looking for an answer in the wind. Windmills are as central to the American story as wagon trains. By the late 1880s, six million windmills whirled their blades across the United States. But these are the windmills you'll see in the 21st century. Since 2004, four high-tech wind turbines have generated electricity for the city of Bowling Green, Ohio. They stand 391 foot tall, and when they're 134 foot long, epoxy and glass fiber blades turn at their maximum speed of 16.5 revs per minute. Each one produces enough energy to light 18,100 watt light bulbs. We met Daryl Stockberger, who led the project to install these elegant giants as Director of Public Utilities for Bowling Green. I'm very proud of the city of Bowling Green because by the time I retired as its Director of Public Utilities, the city was obtaining 20% of its energy requirements from green energy resources. And the city did adopt Green Power Program that allowed its customers to select up to 100% of their electrical energy from green power resources and uh, there was a premium that these customers uh, would pay for that service, approximately 1.3 cents per kilowatt hour. In general, green power is more expensive than conventional sources. Those prices, however, have been coming down very rapidly. And in fact, wind power happens to be one of the lowest cost sources of renewable energy. So are they as noisy as people say? When we ordered our wind turbines, uh, we did request uh, a design and location that would produce uh, no more than 55 decibels at the property line, which by the way is quieter than my air conditioner on my house. So what can we expect to see in the future? Daryl took us to see a new home with its very own wind turbine. This Skystream 3.7 costs around $4,500 plus its tower and installation. The house is connected to the grid, but while the turbine is creating more power than the home needs, the electric meter turns backwards. So in Bowling Green at least, it seems the answer really is blowing in the wind. This is Liz Turner for Ecosense. <laughs>